Welcome back to Okaloosa Today, and thank you, Kathy, for your updates on Okaloosa County. I'm Doug Rayner with a look at the city of Destin, and joining me today are a couple of veterans to our show, Mrs. Marianne Eustick, the city manager of Destin, and Ken Galander, community development director. Guys, thank you for being here. Yeah, thank you. Um, Doug. We're here today. Uh, this is a, a big uh, episode for us. Uh, we're talking about the city's Clean City Initiative. Uh, something that the city of city council uses a lot in their visioning session. Something that's important to our council is to to create a clean city for our residents, business, business businesses, and visitors. Uh, so, to start, we just kind of like to talk about what a clean city is, what a clean city initiative means. Well, Doug, I kind of wanted to start with the, with uh, the Dustin has an image internationally for its beautiful beaches and just gorgeous environment, and it's it's very important to our council, as you said, that that we maintain and enhance that image not only for the tourists who visit our our destination, but also for the people who live in our community and the businesses that are in our community. So it's 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 really important to our council that again we focus on keeping our city clean. Right, and, and again, that's something that comes up in our visioning over and over and over again. Um, some of the, you, you mentioned economics, mm -hmm. some of the beneficiaries of a clean city, how does, how does that fall into place here? I think sometimes people don't realize how important having an attractive and clean city is, uh, not, not only just to the quality of life for our residents and our kids and our visitors, but also for our economic development. Businesses want to locate in a city that has a beautiful and attractive image. And so it's important that we keep our economy healthy and our property values up, that we maintain a very attractive and clean community. And one of the key components of having a clean city, of course, is, is something that we've talked about on the show before mm -hmm. and is important this time of year for us specifically is our, our garbage service and our solid waste contract in the city of Destin. Uh, Ken, I know there's a good bit of history there. We, Walk us through a little bit of, of where we, why we have garbage service and how that works in Destin. Right, well, uh, regulatory-wise, the city has had on the books uh, the requirement for mandatory garbage for since 1989. So basically over the last 22 years, uh, the ordinances have been in place to require mandatory garbage. And unlike some cities, you know, the disposal service is part of the utility within the city, but in the city of Destin we utilize a contract service. So we contract uh, with a service such as waste management and that's who our contract with is now. And we've been with, uh, partner with them for the last five years and back last February uh, the city council uh, unanimously approved the extension to that waste management uh, solid waste uh, contract service agreement. So that's what we're working with now and that establishes the, the the rates and what is required and certain the benefits and we'll be going into those a little bit later. But uh, it establishes all the uh, guidelines for how waste services are to be handled within the city of Destin. Right and um, they that, that waste management has that contract now with the city and, and tell us why how that came about and, and why we're in in, in, in the phase we are now of, of starting a new contract with them. <coughs> well, um, and I'm referencing maybe the survey and things like that, that, that citizens might have sure. had good experiences in our staff as well. Right. Why, why uh, it, the contract was, was actually going to be right. renewed. Why it was right. it renewed, right. Uh, the city conducts a, a, a biannual, or every two years, a survey of our mm -hmm. citizens. And in that, it was some of the questions revolved around how is the solid waste service uh, being provided, be satisfied with that. And waste management was the service provider during those years that we've conducted that survey and they got high marks uh, from the citizens. And also part of that is interviewing the uh, staff because my department, community development, deals a lot with uh, some of the complaints and the enforcement of make sure garbage services are being provided. and. Uh, trash collection and so we had a good very good working relationship with waste management uh, and also other departments so that was the uh, initiative to say well we might as well really seriously look into just simply extending this uh, uh, agreement uh, franchise agreement with uh, waste management and that's where we are now we right, are an, an extension of the franchise and, and some some rates have been negotiated from a uh, 
from a management standpoint, how is how is working through this process with the city and council been going, and how, what is the outlook for the next the upcoming year? Well, we're very excited about this contract. We had, I mean, we had um, we, because the council made a decision to extend the contract for another five years. We still had an, had an opportunity to sit down and negotiate with waste management, and we were very successful in negotiating some very favorable rates for the citizens. We're actually going to be um, having a 11 percent rate reduction, which you don't get to, to to say very often. And I just wanted to mention that. Uh, the current rate is seventy-two dollars and twelve cents per quarter, and that's actually dropping to sixty-four cents and sixty-four dollars and nineteen cents per quarter, which is great. There's going to be a couple of other new benefits to this to this contract as well. There'll be no more sticker program, and if people out there are familiar with that, it was kind of confusing, and uh, that's going to be eliminated under this new franchise agreement. Also, one that I'm very excited about is I think will really contribute towards a cleaner city is a free bulk pickup program. And under the current contract, if someone has something that's outside the regular container trash size, whether it's boxes or those kinds of things, they have to call and pay and actually pay a fee. Now it will be free. They'll simply call and then in the next service day, waste management will pick it up. That's a huge benefit for people trying to dispose of extra trash or garbage or debris in their yard or, or in their house. That's something that we see a lot in the city with uh, yes. people calling and asking, you know, right. how do I get rid of these right. things? Um, the city is also trying to make this very easily accessible for their for our customers so they can get this information on our website, cityofdestin.com. But uh, bulk pickup has been a hot item right. here lately. Um, the spring and fall pickup days is some a, an annual time when people can put their tra uh, bulk items out and be picked up for free. But this has been negotiated through our, our staff and through the council's will to actually have this in a contract and it's, it's been very, very well received. We get a lot of calls about this stuff. And I want to mention that in addition to having free boat pickup on call, basically on a call basis, we're still going to have the fall and spring cleanup days as well, which are very successful because it gives us an opportunity to kind of get the word out and we each do our Promotes phone. Promotes that clean city That's initiative. Exact, exactly right. So they are going to be doing that as well. Well, good. good. Um, Let's, uh, let's take a quick break, and when we come back, we'll talk about more benefits with this contract and, and all the good things and positive things that the city is working towards through the Clean City Initiative.